What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Cryptac. This is a brand new hero collector that originally came out on the PlayStation 4 platform way back in 2015, believe it or not. This game also has a pending release for the Nintendo Switch, but as of today, this game just came out for the Android as well as iOS platform. Now I know the very next question has to be FG. <laughs> Do we have our own brand new servers for us mobile game players? And as far as as I can tell, the answer is yes. So I leveled up to the point where we can unlock guilds here. They're called unions in this game. And right now, there are only two unions in the game total. So obviously, if we were on the same exact server that 2015 players were on, this should be filled to the brim with guilds. But right now, there's only two guilds, and these guilds ain't even filled up. So we should be good when it comes to that. So let's go ahead and jump back over here to the home screen. Now, like I said earlier in the video, this game came out way back in 2015, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite word. Obviously, the UI and the character models are gonna be a little bit dated, but if we look at this game through our 2015 lenses, it's actually a pretty decent looking title, and I do like the fact that the characters are doing things that hero collectors here in 2020 still ain't doing, and that is visual progression as your characters get stronger and stronger. So to give you a few examples here, Here's a little three-star character right here. Um, here's her base form. And then, of course, if you get uh, some of her uh, evolution mats right over here that drop from daily resource uh, dungeons, you can then make her evolve to look even cooler. All of the characters have these options, as you guys can see. Give you another example. My little fire mage here, here in her base form. Evolve her using those materials, and then boom, she looks even better, and she becomes the Queen of Hearts. Um, it also goes a step further as well. So those are four-star and three-star characters. If you do five-star characters, you have the same exact thing, right? You have your base form, you have your post-evolution form, and then you have a little thing called MBC, ladies and gentlemen. And this is where it's kind of like uh, reminds me of fusions from other hero collectors. So if you get all of these characters right over here, you can then combine that to make her turn into this form over here with a nice little glowing sword. So you have a lot of options to kind of... Um, see visual progression as you get stronger and stronger, which I think is important. We're paying for these animated PNGs. You can at least make multiple copies of them as they get stronger and stronger, in my opinion, developers. Um, so there you go. Now you're looking at my, my little roster here. This is gonna be one of those games where you can actually use multiple characters of the same type in one team. So in theory, I can use four of this character if I really wanted to. Um, and the reason why this game doesn't handle dupes like a lot of other games do where dupes are just, uh, they just are, are fodder for limit breaking and things of that nature is because of that fusion system that I showed you for MBC. So you definitely wanna keep your dupes because you might need it as a recipe to fuse into a character that you really want to go full MBC form. So there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump in to combat. So we'll go ahead and jump into combat. Pretty normal hero collector. You're gonna go from um, campaign node from campaign node. Um, the cool thing about these campaign modes is they're all mono color. So right here, you know it's gonna be green. So you're gonna bring all fire characters, water characters, or of course you don't have to, um, but that does absolutely help you when it comes to clearing these stages. There's normal all the way up to expert difficulties. Um, so let's go ahead and get that off my screen and we're gonna jump on over to the destroyed city. Go on in here. You can bring a guest character, just like in most hero collectors. I'm gonna go ahead and take out, since we're doing a water stage, um, we'll go ahead and take out our fire characters and switch them out um, for something that makes a little bit more sense. So we'll go ahead and take you out, put in our little water healer, and I don't really have anything else. Well, you gotta stay. <laughs> I don't have any other options. All right, well, back on the team you go. Here we go. I don't really have any good green characters powered up at the moment. So we're gonna go blue, two lights, and then a red. So, like I said earlier, this is gonna sound like a, a, a slight broken record. The game came out way back in 2015. Um, so as far as combat is concerned, it's really just your standard turn-based JRPG style combat system with an elemental weakness and strength system. That's really what it boils down to. You can absolutely play the game on uh, manual if you really wanna get down uh, to like, you know, min-maxing your moves. But at the end of the day, the AI will do a decent job of focusing on characters that, like for example, if you have a fire character, 
the character will uh, prioritize going against a green character first, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but at the end of the day, there's no real special tropes or anything like that. There's no tag systems. There's nothing that really warrants a lot of manual interaction outside of like timing a heal or a stun or something like that. So for most fodder stages, auto plays is gonna be just fine. Um, the game does have an auto uh, system for just basic attacks. So if you just wanna do straight basic attacks, you can do that, or you can do an auto skill system. Um, that way, uh, basically the way you would do that, you would do the auto basic attacks to go through the fodder stages, and then the final boss stage Stage, you would turn on your skills that way you don't have to worry about your cooldowns not being ready so that is the basic combat um backgrounds you know <laughs> dang it now i don't know what word to say outside of dated a little dated a little old a little crusty a little ashy <laughs> um but i you know i don't really hold that against the game to be honest because had this had i looked at this game in 2015 it would have been a fantastically uh, detailed title like this game would have looked really good in 2015 um, so it just doesn't magically look worse in 2020 it just looks a little old but I can look past that and say you know what I can see the appeal that this game had um, so I can kind of look past these graphics and it, they aged okay they absolutely aged okay um, you also notice that as far as the combat animations, they don't really have a lot of frames of animations on their attack. It's definitely not epic seven levels of animation, uh, frames of animation quality or anything like that. Um, but it gets the job done. It gets the job done. I highly recommend downloading the entire game. Um, you're going to have the option to do like a full download. I can't imagine what the loading times look like without a full download, as you guys can saw, uh, as you guys saw right there. Um, so that is your basic combat there. What else can you do inside the game FG? If you go over here to your um, event quest, um, you have a limited time quest, which is right now it's led by this Thunder Monkey, who I cannot defeat, but we'll try to fight him a little bit later. That way, I can kind of show you some different character models or different monster models in the game. Um, so that is the current event in the game. Uh, you also have your daily resource grinds where you can grind for EXP. Um, you can also grind for the evolution materials that I was telling you about earlier, as well as the NBC stuff there. Moving on from there, you have your a tried and true endless tower mode. And this function, just like most endless tower modes, um, you're going to go as high as you possibly can based on how much strength you have. Um, this is very light on your uh, stamina usage. It only costs one stamina to go per floor. Um, so this is definitely if you have a little bit more time on your hands, you want to get some, you know, you want to get some gameplay in. You'll probably focus here on these endless tower modes to get um, really good rewards as you go up the floors as well. Give you guys a little bit more gameplay here, a little bit more combat, a little different background scenario as well. Very nice. My blue character over here is my healer. Got two tanks over here. They're both paladins, so they do decent damage. They can also heal. And of course, I showed you my fire mage as well. A little bit of voice acting. The voice acting is pretty solid as well. I'm, I'm actually kind of confused. Considering that this game was on a PlayStation 4, I, I wonder how they handled the monetization. Did they, did they handle it just like they would any mobile game? <laughs> that's that's kind of interesting. I haven't played on a console since like this whole microtransaction thing kind of got to the point of where it is. But I couldn't imagine in 2015 seeing a bunch of microtransactions and being like, yeah, this is fine. Um, so um, that's the tower quest. You also have some story quests here as well. There are a ton of individual character stories, as you guys can see. Lots of lots of them. So you will be very busy. This game is not going to have a lack of content at all. There's also a little mini side story with this cute little witch over here and like a little murloc a murloc outfit which i really enjoy um so that is that and there's more coming soon obviously um and then the last thing is a room of reason i have not got to the point where um i know what that is at the moment so more to come on that one um and then there are some beginner quests to kind of give you some cash shop currency and kind of teach you the game as well um so that is the game as it stands right now you have all of those event quests um you have your normal campaign mode you also have a thing called beast battles so every single day, there's a different element type here. So right now, it's dark element type. So you can go through here and basically defeat these beasts to get different drops. Um, and a lot of these drops are character drops as well. And you can kind of see all of these little uh, characters have these little uh, empty blocks here. And as you defeat them, they get X'd off with these swords. And then, of course, obviously, as you get stronger and stronger, you want to try to defeat all of these little characters here to get the, the character drops that, that they have. Um, kind of go through some of these so you can kind of see some of the different character models. Um, obviously, a lot of these are way too strong for me to attack at the moment. But a lot of cool bosses. Looking pretty good. Not bad. Very, very nice. <laughs> and then, obviously, they get weaker and weaker and weaker. 
all the way to the point where most people within like the first hour you can start on this as you guys can see i was able to defeat these and uh we'll go ahead and see if i can beat this one real quick difficulty 2.2 i really don't know what that means like i wish they would have had some type of a uh, combat power uh stat because saying that the difficulty is 2.2 doesn't really make any sense until you go in there and say, oh wait, 2.2 is too hard, right? What is this thing? <laughs> what is this thing? This is that, ah man, this is the second video where there's an animal in the game that I forgot the name of. This is this really docile animal that is like really chill. Every single time you see like a gif of it on the internet, they're just kind of just chilling and vibing. I forgot the name of them. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's go ahead and blow through this stage over here and defeat the boss. This is a uh, dark, so as you guys are probably very familiar with, when it comes to light and dark, they kind of cancel each other out. They both have advantages offensively and disadvantages uh, defensively. There she goes, nice little heal there, strutting her little paladinness. And like I said, this would have been a good example of not using my auto for skills, waiting until I got to this stage, and then unleash all my skills. That way I didn't have to really worry about cooldowns. But it looks like we're doing pretty decent here. Got the boss down. We have these little jester skeletons they look like. I don't know. Oh, actually, those are Skyrim helmets. <laughs> I thought it was like a little uh, Joker cap. Not Joker to be confused with Batman. Like the real Jokers. You know what I'm talking about. Court jesters. Um, but no, it's a Skyrim hat. Nice. Helmet. Getting everything wrong in today's video, but we all, we, we good. So as soon as we lose this encounter, so it looks like, oh, so now of course my friend jumps in and he, whoever this person is, has a full MBC version of this character here. She's in the banner right now. So that's why I think a lot of people have this character, including me, I have two of them. <laughs> and down we go. Hopefully that's the last round. Is there another round? Oh, here's the final round. All right. Look at this guy <laughs> bouncing up and down. <laughs> it's going to bother me so much. And I don't even know what to type to find out what the name of that thing is. Should I just type in, like, docile animal? <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure someone's going to tell me in the comment section. I'm going to feel real dumb afterwards. Down we go. So 2.2 is probably right around the difficulty that I'm, that I'm at right now. And then obviously I could probably get a little bit more mileage out of my team if I did uh, uh, dec decide to like do manual gameplay. But it looks like I'm doing okay. My healer res right, she's healing, she's doing her thing. My support unit is just ripping through people. So all I have to do is just be carried. Killed again, that's okay. <laughs> Carry me through the content. And we're getting a nice view of some of the animations and combat here as well. Like I said, looking at it through a 2015 lens, the game looks okay. I wonder why it took so long for them to bring this to mobile, though. That seems very strange. Like, when you have a gotcha hero collector on PlayStation 4 of all platforms, and you're just watching the mobile, the mobile industry kind of evolve for five years, and at no, no point... The developers or the publishers to say, you know what? We should probably be on mobile too. We should probably jump in on that. Because <laughs> imagine if this game was on mobile back then. It, it might have been a totally different story. This might even be a household name at this point. Cryptact. And there we go. So just defeated his encounter and got myself a cool little Jaguar. Right over there. Panther. Whatever. <laughs> and there you go. So that is the, uh, the little battle things there. Ah, man, I ran out of space. All right, let's sell something because I have just enough cash shop currency to do a multi-pool. Dang it. I just thought about that, multi-pool. So I'm going to need at least 11 spots. I don't know what these things are for in the long term. You might not want to do this. But there you go. So I showed you the campaign, showed you all the event quests over here, and then of course I showed you the beast battle. Um, right now, Arena is not in the game at the moment. Uh, in the very beginning of the video, we talked about guilds, which are called unions in the game. Um, right now, if you make a union, um, you're probably gonna get a, a large influx of, of uh, players as they level up and get there. Um, you have to be rank 15 to make a guild, but you only have to be like level 10 to join a guild. So um, do keep that in mind. So if you wanna be a guild leader, now's a good time to jump in. Um, there's not gonna be a lot of choices for people <laughs> Uh, for for guilds for people to join so there you have it so let's jump into the gotcha to end this video off 
Now, one thing to be very mindful of, there's two different types of gotchas here. So there is the special unit uh, gotcha, which is kind of like a, a guaranteed gotcha after 15 spins, but the five star rate in this gotcha is 1%. So you do get a guaranteed five star and 15 spins, but the five star rate in this banner is only 1%. Now, if you forego this guarantee, you can go in this rare gotcha over here. You don't have a guarantee anymore, but now you have a 5.5% rate to get a five star. So it's a little bit different. It really depends on what you're trying to do. I'm gonna go for this one for right now because I like what this character looks like. And let's go ahead and do a full multi, show you the animations, and that is where we will end the video. Ladies and gentlemen, Ah, come on. <laughs> and those are my new characters. Can I look at them from here? She's kind of cute, but looks very out of place. How about this guy? <laughs> that's an awkward stance, buddy. Okay. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. A little fire bow. Oh, wow. Oh, I like, I like the way she looks. VV2, Child of Darkness. I like the way she looks. Got her, I, you know what? I got, I got plenty of this in Ark Knights. I don't need more of that. Uh, that's a pretty cool male, male character. Okay, so it's not all waifus, and that's a really cool looking sword. So I now want to go look at their Evolve forms as well. <laughs> not bad, not bad overall. So that will do it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Once again, my name is FG3000. I do thank you uh, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Didn't time that very well, FG. I'm all good. Look at how she looks there. Looks pretty good. And then who else did I think kind of stood out? This little fencer. Very nice. Some pretty good art, I gotta say. I'm out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.